Hello and welcome. Thank you for checking out my channel and thank you for checking out this video. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate. And for the people who don't know me, I do step-by-step -step video tutorials on everything to do with building a YouTube channel, creating a WordPress re website, and also affiliate marketing for beginners. This channel is for beginners. It is really important to set up your channel right. In this video, I am taking you inside of the settings of your YouTube, of your brand YouTube channel, and we will be going through all of the different tabs, including choosing your keywords and your categories. So stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's jump into the video. We are at the new YouTube dashboard. On the left hand corner, scroll down till you get to settings. Tap on settings. Tap on general. You will see general is your first tab, which is your default currency. Scroll down and choose your currency and tap on your currency. The next tab down is channel. Here you will put your channel name, which is your brand. You will then select the country of your residence by clicking the downward arrow, arrow scrolling down and tapping on your country. Your keywords are very important and the best place to go for your keywords. Don't forget to save your information and go to the keyword manager. You will see at the bottom settings saved. In your keyword manager, when you have installed vidIQ, you will get a keyword manager and you can search a keyword. Your keyword will be your brand name, or your keyword will be a keyword that represents what your channel is about. And here, when you type in your keyword and click search, you will see a number of different keywords that are populating, and you can search through these keywords and here you will notice there is a score and it tells you what these keywords are ranked. It also tells you how many searches that these keywords have. It also tells you the competition level. And it also tells you the, the keywords are most, when the keywords are most used, when you choose, you click into the keywords you want, copy to your clipboard, go back over to your settings, tap on channel, go into the editing box where it says keywords, a right click and paste. This will paste all of your keywords for your channel. Go through the keywords, take out keywords that are not relevant to your channel. Keywords that are not relevant to your channel will do you absolutely no good because even if a person searches that keyword, they will not find the information. Go through all of the keywords and you can also add further keywords up until you get to a score of 500 then click save go back into your settings and go back into channel into advanced settings 
and here you will see audience. This is very important. If your channel doesn't have anything to do with kids, make sure that you put not made for children. And also click the appropriate boxes. Choose whether you want to have a show a, your subscriber count. And these are other settings to go through at a later time. And eligibility. You will see the default features are enabled. And here it will tell you these are the guidelines for having these features enabled. And here, if you want to have videos over 15 minutes and with their own thumbnails, you will click verify your YouTube channel. If you choose a text message and you don't see the box, then go up and choose call instead. You will then see your uh, your editing box to put your telephone number in. Make sure that you say OK when the pop-up box comes up to confirm and add your telephone number in. And you must add the correct telephone number. And type the telephone number as you see it. <clears throat> and then click or tap on submit. You will then see your phone gets a text message with a six digit number in which you will add into this confirmation box. Once you have your six digit confirmation number, you will then enter it into the box and submit. You will then say, see congratulations, YouTube channel is verified. Don't forget to always save your changes when you're in the settings editing pop-out box. Scroll back into your settings. Go into your feature eligibility and make sure that both of these are enabled. This is very important when you want to create videos longer than 15 minutes and also your own custom thumbnails. Next tab, upload defaults. And here you can put a title in if you want the same title for all of your videos. You can put your brand name in there if you choose anything that is going to be recurring when you are uploading your video. So I am just putting my brand name in here just as an example. And here in the description, you can put your disclaimer, which is number one importance if you are going to be using any affiliate links. And also you can put any important affiliate links as well. You can also put your hashtags, which is something that will appear right underneath your video. So you want to try to rank for certain hashtags so you would add the same hashtags all the time. As example, DIY affiliate programs, DIY affiliate, DIY affiliate way, and of course, yours would be your brand name and variations of your brand name or what your channel is about. You could also put places you are found online and any other important links that you want to see reoccurring. The next tab down is your visibility and your choices are private, unlisted, or public. 
I would do unlisted. The next tab down is your keywords. Keywords are very important. Keywords are what people are typing in when they are looking for certain things. Keywords answer questions. Your keywords that you, that people see in your video need to be the keywords that are describing your video. So when you are looking for keywords and you go over to the keyword inspector, you want to type in a keyword that is generic and a keyword that you can use on all your videos because this will be a recurring keyword that will appear in all of your uploads of your videos. So this is the vidIQ keyword inspector. And here I have typed in a keyword. And I'm looking for generic keywords that I can use in my video that's going to describe basically all of my videos. And when you upload a video, you are going to have to check to make sure the keywords that you are using are true because those are the keywords that YouTube is ranking your video on. And those are the keywords that people are typing in. And that is how you would rank a video. And that is how a video is seen. So when people say that keywords are not important, that's not really true. Keywords are important, but using them properly is more important. So you would just choose your keywords. And this is as an example. You would go through all of the keywords and tick the boxes of the keywords that you want to see appearing on a reoccurring basis in your uploads. When you are done choosing all your keywords, you will then click on copy to clipboard. This will then copy your keyboard, your keywords to a clipboard. And then you would then go back over. You would close the box. You would go back over to your settings, to your upload defaults, scroll down till you get to tags and tags are your keywords. And then you would right click and paste your keywords in. And you can also add more keywords and always make sure that you have your brand keyword. Don't forget to save your changes. I always save my changes after every edit. That way I know that my changes are saved. Advanced settings. You can choose whether you want to have a standard YouTube license or a Creative Commons. The difference is the standard YouTube license gives you a copyright to everything that you create a Creative Commons allows people to reuse, remix, and use your content while giving you credit. Next tab is Categories. And here you can choose from all of the YouTube categories in which different videos and different categories can be found. Choose the right category that suits your channel. There are many choices. I choose education because all of my videos are step-by-step -step video tutorials. Yours may be about cars or vehicles, or may be about gaming, or it may be about film and animation. It depends on what your category is. You choose the right category and make your videos all in the same category. And that way YouTube will rank your videos in the same category. The next tab is language. Click on the downward arrow and choose your language. The next tab is caption certification. And here 
you can read this information box. And when you click on the downward arrow, you have different choices. I usually choose This content has never aired on television in the U.S. Comments. Hold all comments. Hold potentially inappropriate comments. Hold comments in review or don't allow comments. Those are your choices. Permissions. And here you can manage your permissions. And you can read this information here to see if this is something that will be applicable to your brand channel or not. And at the moment it isn't. And then you can also modify permissions. So this is where I open my Google Docs. And this is where I keep all my social media hyperlinks and all very important links that I have created. And I am just getting my link for my channel, the DIY Affiliate. Copying the link this document is created with all of my links from all the social media that I can be found on, and I have created a video in which I will leave in the description for you. Automated filters. So I'm going to paste my link from my main channel in as a moderator and also in as a approved user and if you have somebody who is a hidden user you could also paste that in and here you can put your blocked words words that if a person uses will be blocked as an example i just put stupid you can also have block links and then as a default for your comments Allow comments, hold potentially inappropriate comments, hold all comments, or disable comments. And you just choose the one that you want. Comments on your discussion tab, the same thing. And also hold potentially inappropriate comments on your live chat. The next one is agreements. And here you will just see what you have agreed to. And if you want to look at the terms of service, you can just click into the learn now. When you are done doing all of your editings, make sure you click on the save. And you will notice, notice at the bottom it says settings saved. Thank you for watching this video with me and hanging out with me. If you have found this video helpful, then please click on the like below the video. Click the notification bell so you will be notified of the next video that I am posting. If you have any questions, then please leave them in the comment. I am very happy to answer any questions that you may have. The next video coming up will be on customization. I will be going over the branding, uh, making of your profile picture and your banner in canva.com. We will be talking about the basic information, your channel name, a description of your channel, and also the links that will show up in your channel. Thank you for hanging out with me. Stay safe and looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video.